Social dominance theory. Social dominance theory is a social psychological theory that seeks to explain the development and maintenance of group-based social hierarchies and the associated dynamics of power and inequality. It posits that societies are organized in a way that maintains and legitimizes group-based dominance, with some social groups having higher status and power than others. SDT focuses on the psychological processes and intergroup dynamics that contribute to the establishment and perpetuation of these social hierarchies. Let's delve into the key concepts concepts of social dominance theory, discuss its applications in understanding power dynamics and intergroup relations, and provide examples to illustrate its relevance in different social contexts. At the core of social dominance theory is the recognition that societies are characterized by group-based social hierarchies, where certain social groups hold higher levels of social power, status, and privilege than others. These hierarchies are not merely the result of individual differences or personal achievements but are deeply rooted in social structures, norms, and ideologies. According to SDT, these social hierarchies are maintained and perpetuated through various social and psychological mechanisms. One key concept in SDT is social dominance orientation, which refers to individuals' attitudes and beliefs regarding the legitimacy and desirability of group-based hierarchies. Individuals with a high social dominance orientation are more likely to endorse and support the existing social hierarchies, while those with a low social dominance orientation are more inclined to question or challenge these hierarchies. Social dominance orientation influences individuals' behaviors, attitudes, and intergroup relations, contributing to the reproduction of social inequalities. SDT also emphasizes the role of social identification and social categorization processes in shaping intergroup dynamics. Social groups are categorized into different social categories based on characteristics such as race, ethnicity, gender, or nationality. Individuals tend to identify strongly with their own social group and develop a sense of collective identity. This group identification can lead to the perception of in-group superiority and the justification of intergroup inequalities. Furthermore, SDT highlights the importance of legitimizing myths and ideologies in maintaining social hierarchies. Dominant groups often create and perpetuate ideologies that justify their higher status and power, such as through narratives of superiority, meritocracy, or natural hierarchy. These ideologies serve to maintain the existing power structures and justify the subordination of subordinate groups. For example, ideologies of racial superiority have been used throughout history to justify colonization, slavery, and discrimination against marginalized racial groups. SDT also considers the role of institutional practices and social policies in reinforcing and perpetuating social hierarchies. Institutions, such as governments, educational systems, and economic structures, often reflect and perpetuate existing power imbalances. For example, discriminatory hiring practices or unequal access to resources can systematically disadvantage certain in social groups, contributing to the maintenance of social dominance. In conclusion, social dominance theory provides insights into the psychological and social processes that contribute to the development and maintenance of group-based social hierarchies. It highlights the role of social dominance orientation, social identification, legitimizing myths, and institutional practices in shaping intergroup relations and power dynamics. By understanding the mechanisms through which social hierarchies are maintained, this theory offers opportunities for critical analysis and intervention to challenge and transform systems of power and inequality in society.